go. He gives me the greetings and salutations from a little custom paint. Oh man, where the hell have you been? Come on, you don't know? It's softball season. And would you agree? Fishing sucks. He's nodding his head, wiping his face. Ah. Okay, uh, this is what's been going on. We got two new builds. We finished the super stock build for the Patreon channel, which was the 65 Plymouth. And I needed a mid 60s street machine build for the show. So there's the Ravel Camaro. Nice little kid. However, um, on to other things that have been going on. We have a battle royale that was going on a week ago on one of the major Facebook pages about body lines. Now, it's ridiculous that I feel that I should have to do this, but, you know, it's like the old adage Grandpa used to use, you know, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make him drink. When I was about 10 years old, I asked him what to do. If he didn't drink, he said, shoot the son of a bitch because he's too stupid for his own good. Now, I can't afford that much ammunition, so I'll go back to one of his older adages, which is visibility lends to credibility. So without further ado, we're going to go out in the driveway. It's the only way I know how to prove a point. See you in a minute. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Meet Big Ray, my fat bottom girl. Now, the reason we're out here is not because I'm bragging about the car. It is what it is. However, I do want to point something out. Now, if you look here, you see black lines. Okay? Here, here, and let's take a walk back here, Jake. Oh, look. Black lines. These things aren't supposed to exist. Now, look. If you're building a realistic model, you have to have these lines. Now, on this particular car, what you're seeing here is a gasket. Now, on the modern day cars, or later model cars, for lack of a better term, if you look at the Subaru, now that line that you see is not necessarily black, but the bottom line is, it's the absence of light. So therefore, every single damn car that you build should have the lines put in it. And while there are many that would argue the fact, we could go over there to the Silverado and look, oh my goodness, there's black lines. Now, that's a combination of two things. That's a combination of a door gasket and also an absence of light. Yes, there's a door gasket up towards the top. At the bottom, the gasket is tucked in, but you still see a black line because it's an absence of light. Plain and simple. Now, there's plenty of tutorials out on YouTube about this, and we've got it on our channel too. You take the back of an X-Acto knife, lightly trace, lightly trace until you get them deep. Then, I wouldn't suggest paint, although there's some that swear by it. India ink works just fine. The thing about India ink, it's water-based. If you screw up, you take a toothbrush, you take a little Dawn dish detergent, scrub it, it disappears. If you put it in too heavy, which is why I say you scribe deep, when you put it in, you let it dry and then you take a toothbrush with Dawn dish detergent under warm running water and you scrub it and that removes the excess and all you can see is that thin line which is realistic. It exists. It's part of every single damn vehicle on the road, in a garage, in a car lot, etc, etc. I can't put it any plainer than that. Of course there will be those that want to argue with me. but. Visibility lends to credibility, kids. If you want to build a realistic model car, this is the direction you have to go in. All right, less than on that. We're done.